While still considered to be a classified report, more than a 100-page section of the Henderson Brooks report has now been made public. The report outlines a comprehensive operational review of India's military debacle in 1962, the India-China War. The 100-page section of the first volume of the report has been published by Australian journalist Neville Maxwell on his website. Sri Lanka ek journalist ne bahar nikali unka kehna hai ki Bharat Sarkar ise nikalna nahi chahti thi ki usme Nehru ji pe aarop hai isliye majboor ho kar ke main ye swatantra bahar nikal raha hu usko bhi bina denotify hue dekhiye 50 saal ke baad wo so rahe the kya abhi tak kya 50 saal ke baad wo is tarike ki baat kar rahe koi bhi is baat pe yakeen nahi karega na desh karega na duniya karegi is tarike ki baaton se koi fark nahi padta Well, this is what we're getting you. It's still considered to be a classified report. And what we're talking about is more than a 100-page section of the Henderson Brooks report. While it's been made public now, this report outlines a comprehensive operational review of the debacle we got to see in the Indochina war. We've got our national affairs editor, Shrinjoy Chaudhary, with more. Yes, Shrinjoy. Well, there are three things that the Henderson Brooks report specifically speaks about. It has to be first mentioned that it is still top secret. But the three, four issues are as follows. One, there is no question that India was comprehensively defeated in the 62 war. Second, that India was unprepared to fight the 62 war in terms of soldiers, in terms of weapons for the soldiers, in terms of kit for the soldiers. Third, that strategic mistakes were made by the Indian government, particularly in terms of what was called forward policy. If you have to move soldiers to the north, uh, they have to be adequately, strategically placed so that they are not overrun. These are the three basic points uh, that the Henderson Brooks report mm -hmm. very clearly talked about. Now, all these years, this has been rightly or wrongly kept a secret. Neville Maxwell himself had written a book about this many years ago in Australia uh, when Henderson Brooks had spoken about this to him. But now, after all these years, and he's nearly 90, he has made a section of the report public. Now, this will not go down well with the Indian government, because for all these years, it is still secret. There is one copy in the defense ministry, and that is lying in the defense secretary's office in the safe. But beyond that, mm. it is not even put out anywhere. <laughs> Okay, Shrinjoy, stay on with us because there are reactions coming in. Let's listen in to DP Tripathi, Shrinjoy, and then I'm coming back to you. Now, what does Australia say about this? We don't have to think about it. That's why Swem Jawaharlal Nehru said that the wrong thing was wrong. The wrong thing was wrong that they had a lot of trust on China. The wrong thing was wrong that they had a lot of trust on China. हिंदी चीनी भाई भाई जो था जिस पर पूरा भरोसा था कि कभी इस तरह की घटना नहीं हो सकती वो हुई आ, हाँ हम लोग अगर सीमाओं पर वार्ता कर लेते पहले तो ज्यादा अच्छा होता वो भी भारत सरकार के बहुत से लोगों ने करने की कोशिश की लेकिन नहीं हुआ इस ऑस्ट्रेलियाई पत्रकार की टिप्पणी पर मैं कुछ नहीं कहना चाहता स्वयं जवाहरलाल नेहरू ने उसके विषय में कहा है वो ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है Okay, so you're getting those reactions coming in. In fact, we also get, got in a reaction from Rashid Alvi who's come out and said that the were they were they sleeping till now? Let's also listen in to the opposition reaction coming in. Let's listen in to Nirmala Sitaraman. I have with me BJP spokesperson Nirmala Sitharaman. Ma'am, in an excerpt from Henderson Brooks' uh, confidential report on 1962's India-China war has been released by Australian journalist Maxwell, where he holds the first Prime Minister of India, Nehru, responsible personally for the war. Your first reactions on this, ma'am? Well, this report has remained as a classified document for the best part of our uh, free Indian uh, years. Even today, it has not been released by the government. And as it is, this report only looks at the operational side of 1962 war and it certainly doesn't have any section which is or the TOR, the terms of reference, did not have anything to do with the civil government's decision making. 
But the fact remains that even as much as it can reveal, it will certainly tell us a lot of things which is important for our um, institutional memory and for lessons to be learned. And therefore it is an important revelation coming as it uh, does uh, almost at the end of the tenure of the UPA government which has uh, certainly not so favorably impacted on our defense preparedness and therefore it's important. Um, do you think this uh, report Okay, so that's the response coming in from the BJP. Nirmala Sitaraman, you just heard that reaction. The Congress also responding, coming out and saying, in fact, Rashid will be saying that were they sleeping till now, why to rake this up after 50 years? So let's get in Shrinjoy, who is helping us understand this better. Shrinjoy, obviously the government is not very happy with these revelations coming into the forefront, into the public domain. The opposition, we've heard that reaction from Nirmala Sitaraman. How do we see this going forward now? Well, as far as the government says, it's clearly unnecessary. And the reason for that is that mm. this is still secret. There is, as I said, only one copy of this report uh, that we even know exists in, uh, with the government of India, and that's lying with the different secretary. That report has never been put out. Now, uh, even though the, the contents of the report are generally clear in the fact that, yes, uh, there was a... Uh, in the Indian troops did not have the adequate weapons. Two, they did not have the right kind of kit. They weren't properly tactically deployed. Uh, to the forward positioning of the troops may have been wrong. India may not have expected such a strong Chinese response. All of this is really known. But even then, it is so sensitive, particularly the forward policy that was advocated by Krishna Menon, who was defense minister, uh, is something that is there in black and white. For Neville Maxwell to do this, and he's nearly 90 years old, is also surprising because the Henderson Brooks report was partly shared by him, by Henderson Brooks himself uh, with Neville Maxwell. His book talks a lot about it, but now after all these years, for him to put out a report or a section of the report that is classified is very difficult or hard for the Indian government to accept.